Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. EA gave us an SBC yesterday that has got a lot of people talking. Yeah, we're looking at that Raheem the Dream Sterling versus Fire or Ice. Which one's the better one to take? But I will say, I think the SBC right now is missing one thing. And we're going to take a look at that today, as well as these FC versus cards that give extra chemistry boost. That is a part of this promo, guys. These players give extra chemistry to your ultimate team squads with different chemistry boosts based on which card you are using, which card type. And of course, we did have a lot of market movements yesterday, which I do want to talk about, and more market movements potentially coming today, all based around evolutions and leaks. So a lot to dive into today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. We're going to go objectives first and cover quickly all the content that was dropped yesterday for this new promo. We're starting off with the refresh of the versus daily play completionist, which is a W and 86 times two pack. Guys, these objectives are part of the way right now where if you're grinding this game and if you want to grind this game, something as easy as this. I know it's a little bit of a grind, but if you play a couple squad battles games a day, doesn't take very much time. You're working on an evolution. You can be even, you know, getting a lot of things done very efficient with your gameplay, you're playing champs, whatever, this is worth doing. You get an 83 times 2 every single day, free fodder. You get a premium gold pack and a couple 75 plus picks, free fodder, right? So I love this. I think this is a W from EA. It's just you grind the game a bit and you get some rewards. Also, I'm kind of a fan of this objective just because it's super easy to get. And if you like scoring headers, this is the card for you, right? I would even say this objective is clear. This Stuani card, which I don't understand why it's the storyline version, really random that it's the storyline version and not like the versus fire or ice version. I don't really get it. But regardless, uh, this objective card is better than the Artem Dovbik um, player of the month SBC that we got yesterday, who is also from Girona. So that was leaked. We talked about that. We knew that SBC was going to be coming. Do this, uh, do this objective for free instead of doing the SBC. This guy's got four star, four star, Stuani, 98 heading, 99 jumping, 97 strength, and power header plus playstyle. He's also got acrobatic and aerial, technical dribbler. He's even got power shot and chip shot. So for a free card, it's kind of in its own, I guess, place where it's pretty good, I think. So that's a decent objective there. You'll probably get that done if you have La Liga players in your club pretty easily. But I think he's better than that player of the month that was dropped yesterday for sure. Now let's go to Evolutions. We were excited for the center back Evo, and it did drop. But now we're really not excited because of how little pace boost you get from this evolution. I'm actually a little bit disappointed. And I think some people were even taking it as far as saying this is the worst evolution of the entire year that we got yesterday, but it's all because of the pace boost not being that great. Now, I will say there are some good Evo cards that do come from this, but maybe this is one, like we say oftentimes, that you wait to see how it can work inside of a chain Evo unless there's somebody that it fits that you want to get done right away. This evolution is really easy to get done. You just have to play three squad battles, win three squad battles, and get a couple clean sheets. It's really easy. And don't overlook some of the boosts. Like, I know pace was what we were hoping for. We only get plus five pace, but you get plus 10 passing, plus eight dribbling, and four physical. That is a pretty good boost. You also get the block play style and the center defensive mid position. Um, some of the top cards that you can put in this Evo, as you can see, it's very, very downvoted and disliked. 85% downvoted. But, I mean, you can put a Lissandro Martinez in this. You can put a John Stones in this as well. In my opinion, do somebody or keep this and sit it around or do somebody that you, like, think could maybe be evolved in the future. Like this Lissandro Martinez, yes, he does get a center defensive mid position that is added to him. But you look at this card and you're like, 78 pace? Yeah, everything but the pace looks really good. And, and maybe he's actually going to be decent as a center defensive mid in game. Medium high work rates as a stay back CDM with pretty good defending dribbling physicality and passing like that could be a really solid card it's just not going to be super meta because he's not really pacey right that's kind of the thing that the, it's, this evo doesn't give you you can put gabrielle in it you can put uh jimenez in it and get a little double upgrade here for jimenez with keep up and his card here but you still only have 78 pace so that's the downside to it now again it's up to you on whether you want to do this one or not but a lot of people are not happy with it because of the lack of the pace that you get from it. But the center defensive mid, I will shout this out once again, CDM, it adds the position to the card, which means potentially in the future for a CDM, maybe a center mid Evo, a midfielder Evo, that could make some of those cards 
evolvable even another time. But they do put them pretty high rated like that. Romero goes to an 88. Lissandro goes to an 88. So that's a bit of a down grade or like a kind of a bad thing about that evolution. But, you know, it's there. It's maybe something that you want to do. I'm going to save it, though. I'm going to let it sit, see what I can evo as a part of a chain later on. Now, we mentioned the Player of the Month SBC for Artem Dovbik. It's 70,000 coins. That SBC is not the one that we're excited about right now in this game. The Team of the Week player pick is back. We're going to talk about Team of the Weeks and their prices in this video today for sure because a lot of people are investing once again and i know it's scary to invest in 30,000 coin team of the weeks but this is the day that they were near their lowest last week we'll talk about that there's a daily fc versus challenge which is cheap and it gives you a tradable pack it's not that great of a pack but it's a tradable one and then there is the big SBC, Raheem the Dream Sterling. It was not Gavi. There was a Sterling leak that came out early yesterday on Friday before the promo, and he ended up being our SBC player, and it's not a player pick. I'm actually kind of glad for this. In FIFA 22, they gave us a player pick SBC for Pulisic. You had to choose one or the other. They gave us both SBCs, so if you actually wanted to do them both, you could, but this is the one that everybody is doing, or a lot of people are doing, because it gives you a Raheem Sterling that fixes the problem that Raheem Sterling has in this game. The weak foot, right? He always has a three-star weak footer, maybe upgraded to a four, but most of the time, three-star weak foot, right-footed, four-star skills, high-medium work rates. You know his dribbling is going to be good enough with 89 dribbling, 97 balance, 98 agility. His composure is low. That's probably a glaring stat on the card. Also, 64 aggression, but you get the power shot plus play style. You get first touch, acrobatic, and you get rapid, and it's really the power shot. It's the striker position as well. And it is the still the great shooting and the great pace and the 90 uh, the 90 overalls there and the five star weak foot that has a lot of people doing this SBC. Now the one thing that this is missing is and it, it's not missing it anymore. It's almost like EA is saying, hey, you should do this SBC and you shouldn't do this one because they don't have a dynamic image yet for the 88 rated Sterling when I'm making this video, and he just got a dynamic image on the 88, the fire version on this card so that's kind of interesting it's like hey this one's got the dynamic image it looks more pretty you should do this one right i think a lot of people are going towards this one though um just because of the power shot the five star weak foot and also you can't discount the links he gets an extra english nationality link which is very good for chemistry now this raheem sterling sounds very fun as well if you like five star skills if you like trickster plus this is the one that's maybe for you he's not a striker he's a cam also also can play on the right and the left he's got even better dribbling with a little bit better composure but he has less shooting and all almost all of the dribbling play styles so with technical i can't even imagine how good this card is going to be if they would have given him technical plus then i think it would actually be a competition between these two uh, but I think that the Fire Raheem Sterling, I think the value is actually, I think it's decent. I mean, we were talking about this on stream, this Raheem Sterling, how much would he be if he was actually on the market? When I look at the rest of this promo team and how and see how they're priced, like this card with these stats would probably be somewhere around three to 400K, to be honest. This promo of cards is pretty rare, as we'll talk about. So this is a Prem Striker SBC that's at least very interesting because it's a middle to top tier option. I think a lot of people are going to end up trying to craft. It is seven squads, which is a little bit annoying. Um, and how many team of the weeks does it require? You need one team of the week, two team of the week, it's only two team of the weeks, which isn't too bad. You do get some packs back, um, and it's just seven squads, which is a little bit annoying. But it's a really solid SBC. It really is. Like, this is, I kind of think back, like, when is the last promo that we had a crazy SBC that we can almost all agree on that was, like, good value? Yeah, during Winter Wild Cards, we had Hullet, and we had um, Martinelli on that first Friday. But even those seemed really expensive. Now this Sterling for 478k compared to a 600,000 coin Martinelli seems a bit interesting. So if that card suits you, I think it's it's actually a decent SBC. I don't think I'm going to end up doing it because I've still, I'm still rocking the Harry Kane. I got the Mbappe in the squad. I'm happy with how my squad looks. But that actually caused some strikers to go down a bit on the market yesterday because people are doing that Sterling SBC. And there's a lot of people excited for it. Now, let's talk about the team that is in packs once again. We are looking here at the versus fire team. Now, like I mentioned before, these cards give more chemistry based on what card type they are. Now, in my personal opinion, I actually think that the cards of the versus ice actually maybe help out 
chemistry a little bit more than the fire cards do because for versus ice it's in here in the game you can see it very explain explained very easily here the versus ice cards they give you an extra club link and you only need four of the same club to get to two chemistry points whereas for the same nation you need five players to get to two chemistry points on each player so I think that it maybe is a little bit better to have the ice players for chemistry, but I think I like the look of the fire players and the card design there, just personally being honest. Guys, these cards, they're rare. Sergio Ramos is super rare, super overpriced for this card. But on the other side of things, you've got guys like Asensio, which is a really sick card. Finesse shot plus five-star skills, and he has only 25,000 coins. That is a really great card there. Sissoko is cheap. He's going to be good. Uh, Spinazzola is one of the best right backs in the Serie A on a budget, and he's 25,000 coins as well. I even think this Kamavinga for 230k is a solid card for the price. Aerial Plus is a little bit um, you know, confusing, but that might end up being really good in the box when you're defending. He can win uh, some of those header balls on corners and set pieces and stuff. That's a good card for the price. Um, and, you know, I, I like this team. It's it's like a 7 out of 10 team because there are some nice promo boosts in here, but there also are some bad ones. The bad ones are mostly at the top tier too, right? Sun, Neymar, their boosts are not that good, but it has provided us with a cool trip here. Ray, a really cool Ramos. Kamavinga is cool. And then some of the lower tier options. Um, it just feels like there's not very many cards in packs. And guys, these cards, just like we expected, are very, very difficult to pack. They are rare on the market. Yesterday, even in, in the first couple of hours, like Sergio Ramos, I was able to flip this Ramos card for 160, 170,000 coins of profit because there was only two on the market at that time. And the rarity with these cards is crazy. Now, I do expect some of them to drop off in price today, namely Trippier. I think Trippier's got a lot of hype for both of his cards. I think both of his cards are really interesting. A center mid Trippier with over the top long ball pass. And then, you know, his pace is a little bit low, but his passing is great. Defending dribbling is solid. I think he's just. A little bit inflated because of the rarity. And the same thing with the Ramos, with the Neymar. They finally updated the prices for some of these cards. Like Hyunmin Sun was extinct. Neymar was extinct. They're on the market now. I, I do think they'll drop off a bit today. Kamavinga has a pretty interesting midfielder card too with Press Proven. You know, that's a solid card. But um, unless it's a lower tier card, I actually did pick up a couple of Asensios because I think this is a card that people might want to go out and try today. PSG links, Spanish links as well. Finesse Shot Plus for 25k. That just seems like a really, really cheap card. Spinazzola is one that moved really well yesterday too. I can see some of these maybe rising up a little bit in the morning today on Saturday. But probably a lot of them, unless it's the cheaper tier, will end up dropping off. I also picked up a Marta for under 300k because... Um, this is how I made coins on Ramos yesterday. Yeah, Marta's 289. That's where I bought her, 287. Um, she is, this card is 280, 90,000 coins, right? But the other Marta, which I don't think is as good, um, has the Trickster Plus, which is probably not as usable as Trivella Plus. This one's got more dribbling traits, and it's got higher passing, I believe. Um, it's the other Marta is like 150,000 coins more like this one, like the price discrepancies between a couple of these cards, because they're so rare is really interesting. Um, so that's why I picked up a Marta ice because she's really rare. This one's 450 K. Um, and so, yeah, we'll see how that works out. Definitely going forward a little bit with the risky flips, but these cards are going to be really good to trade. Like the past couple promos have been because they are very Rare. So let's talk about the rest of the market too, right? Because yesterday it kind of went according to plan in a lot of areas as a lot of player prices on the market were moving upward because you think about the content in total yesterday. Okay, team in packs, really tough to pack. That always makes people a little bit disappointed. The SBC was good. There were some cards that moved. I was able to flip a Sam Kerr um, for a decent amount of profit because she was low. And then she went up because it's a Chelsea link to Sterling. Uh, so there were some opportunities to flip cards like that. But really what did the best yesterday was what we expected to do the best. The winter wild cards. Remember I had a Renato Sanchez that was on my transfer list uh, that I bought for 380,000 coins. I sold him at 430k. He ended up going over 440 now he's back down a little bit, but these cards, as we take a look across the market yesterday, they did really well. Alaba's up 30,000 coins a card. Mukiele just reached 125, 126, still rising. Um, you know, even some of the icons, right? Doing really good. I did end up selling the Doku's, right? We've been following Doku's price all week. 
And the reason Doku, I sold him for like, I make, I basically made here on all these Dokus in total on these five, I probably made about 25 to 30,000 coins. It was not that much. It was not worth the investment. I still profited, but the reason I sold him is because there was some leaks for a right wing Evo, which we're going to talk about a little bit more. Um, and that held his price in check and also hurt some other right wings on the market, especially on the middle of the top tier. But nonetheless, the winter wild cards that went out of packs did very, very well yesterday. So if you invested in any of these GG, because you're making some coins, uh, Goretzka went up, Kunde started to go up. It was that middle to high tier, the more rare ones, and some of the really low ones too. The icons did good. Shearer's 154. Yeah, Shin's back over 1.05. Laudrup had a huge rise. He's up like 30K. GG's if you invested there. For a lot of the lower tier part of the market still, I think the market should do fine still today and into this weekend. Um, it's Monday that has me a little bit more worried, but I think it's still going to be a good time to trade on this market today and tomorrow. People are buying cards and they are wanting to spend coins on players. Now, we're going to look at fodder right now. EA has been running lightning rounds. And they ran the lightning rounds that make fodder drop. The 84 times 10s, they're actually, they just ran another set of them a couple of hours ago. This is the pack that really hurts the player prices of fodder, like real bad. Like you just saw it right there. 84s right now are 1.5K. That is almost minimum price. Like they're so low for 84s. And it's just like, man, when is this fodder going to go up? I still believe in it. I still believe in fodder, guys. I think that now, once again, there's not a lot of people that are opening packs. This is what we talked about yesterday on stream. There's not as many people opening packs, but there's still going to be SBCs to do, especially in the middle to low tier range. 84, 5, 6, 7 squads that come out for packs that people want to save for team of the year that we should be seeing in the next two weeks. That's why I still feel very positively about 83s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, even 88s. I picked up some 88s yesterday on bid for under 16K. Feel really good about those. 89s under 30, feel really good about those. 50 or uh, Under 50K for 90s, feel really good about those as well for maybe an icon pick or pack that would come out tomorrow. And uh, even as soon as today, there could be some fodder movements. It was last Saturday that we had the 83 times 10 when we were able to grind that. Uh, or two weeks ago, we had the 83 times 10. And um, that did make some Team of the Weeks go up a little bit. So you've got people that are investing in Team of the Weeks once again. These were as low as 29K yesterday. They're now approaching 30 to 31. And basically the situation here is, will Team of the Weeks go up this week? I think everybody's asking this and a lot of people are investing. The Team of the Weeks can go up this week because EA keep requiring them. It just depends on how many SBCs we get and what SBCs we get. If you think about it logically, we're two weeks before team of the year. We're fresh out of the winter wild cards promo and EA is still giving us fodder, right? They're going to put out SBCs. It just depends on what SBCs they put out and how hardcore they go this week, which is two weeks before team of the year at draining, trying to drain people's coins out of their clubs to give them packs that maybe they want to save for team of the year. So that is how I think people are trying to look at this and investing in Team of the Weeks. If you want to risk it, it's big risk, big reward because Team of the Weeks have done pretty well almost every single week. It seems more sure than it has ever. It still seems weird to buy Team Leaks for 30,000 coins. Trust me, I don't like spending 30K for a card that, you know, should be probably 15 or 20K. But here we are at 30,000 coins. They could go to 35 in the next two, three days. They could go to 25, but I think that's kind of your range. So it's not that big of a risk. And if you do it by here at 30,000 coins, um, I'm talking myself into this a little bit, honestly, because Team of the Weeks have been pretty consistent the last couple of weeks. And yeah, they seem expensive, but EA keeps requiring them. So I'm not going to say I'm going all in on Team of the Weeks. I might buy a couple, but the probably the time that I go and buy a couple, they probably won't go up. So we'll see what I end up doing. The Team of the Week player pick is, once again, the better place to always go and get a Team of the Week card because it's literally 18K to do the Team of the Week player pick SBC. Do this with your free fodder from objectives. You don't have to buy a Team of the Week to get an SBC done, but other people do because it's quick. It's easy to get the SBC done. You still have uh, player SBCs like Icons and um, Mbappe. That are requiring team of the week sterling requires a team of the week right two of them so there's still demand for those players there and people buy them off the market so i'll let you decide whether you want to buy or not but that's kind of the situation there um yeah team of the weeks most popular investment but you know also with that most popular investment could mean the most amount of panic if there's not good content 
It's up to you. I'll let you decide. Let me know what you want to do down in the comments. But if you get him under 30K or right at 30,000 coins, it's probably an okay price if you're going to risk it this week. Let's talk about content today and what moved the market even more yesterday. First of all, I tweeted this yesterday. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. Before the content yesterday, there were some crazy movements on right wing cards um, like Felipe Anderson doubling in price, Kudus Sterling in form, David Neres doubling in price, Gold Rodrigo going from 4,000 coins to 6,000 coins, then yesterday from 6,000 to 8,000 coins, continually inflated in price because of leaks or an Evo that is incoming for it looks like right wings. Now we've just had a leak tweet from Foot Police that says two evolutions are coming, both for the right wing position. One of them is finisher, the other one is cut inside. Now this one seems kind of interesting to me and maybe the whole point of this is that it's kind of like the versus promo. Maybe it's finisher and cut inside so you get you could have like almost the same requirements um, or similar requirements but you get a different boost depending on which evolution you do. Kind of like a versus ice or a versus fire. That's my guess, I don't know. Um, Again, position right wing must not be center mid and that um, he knows some requirements. Max playstyle plus is zero. Players gain a weak foot and a playstyle plus and the expected release date is today on Saturday. The other one is cut inside, which is position right wing. And that's all that he says for that one. So if they do the evolutions here like they have been doing during winter wild cards, it'll be evolution today and an evolution tomorrow on Sunday. We'll just have to see. But that's why some right wings have gone up like crazy uh, on this market. When, I'm, when I mean crazy, I can like, these are cards that have doubled in price. They're going up crazy, crazy amounts. There are so many golds. Like you just look at the top of footbin and you'll randomly see a card who's like, wait, why, why is he up here? Why, why is his card? There's not any right now as I look at footbin, but it's like, why is that card up at the top of footbin? Well, it's probably because he's being invested in for an Evo. And then you look at the graph and you see that he's up like double in price, like the Rodrigo that we were just looking at. And you kind of understand what's going on there. So watch out for that Evo today. If it's really good, it could make some prices crash. But as we always say, sell into the hype it is always worth selling into the hype for these evolutions guys uh, if you invested in any of those even if it fits what you think the evo will be um, it is always worth selling in the hype because you can be safe rather than sorry if the evolution is different than what actually comes out or if it doesn't even drop today then you would want to sell in the hype for sure now sbc's today that could move some things um, first of all if i had to guess on an sbc we get today I think it's this one. I would take a guess that it's going to be Danny Welbeck flashback. He kind of has to be today or tomorrow because EA put out on their weekly content tweet. This was going to be in the next week and that runs Monday to Monday or Monday to Sunday. So I think this is today or tomorrow. Seems like a Saturday type SBC to me. If he does drop, I think he should be halfway decent value. It's kind of like, wait a second, they're going to drop an English striker flashback just after they dropped a Raheem Sterling, who's also really good as an English striker. Yep, that's what it seems. I think Welbeck would be a lot cheaper, though. I'm like, I'm talking maybe 150K or below that. And if that's the case, if his card is good, even if it's just above 90 pace with decent shooting and they upgrade a weak foot and skills, it's going to be a little bit popular because cheap Prem Striker SBCs are always popular. I would be careful with cards, maybe like Carlos Tevez, cheaper Premier League strikers, just cheaper strikers in general could take a hit as this would be an SBC for Welbeck that would be widely completed if it's a cheap price and at least a halfway decent SBC. You look at his regular gold card. He's got rapid play style already. They'd have to add some play styles in there. Six foot one, high, high, three, three. So they got to make it a bit of an upgrade. But with a flashback and the flashbacks we've seen this year, they've been doing decent upgrades. So that's an SBC I think could be today. I guess technically there's a shout for Gabi as well. But I think this is too big of a name of a player to be dropped on a Saturday. To me, it's maybe a Sunday, maybe sometime during next week, but honestly, this could be an SBC that would come out on a Friday. Maybe next Friday, if there's going to be a team too, which there might be, depending on how this pans out and how it looks, this is an SBC that could be sometime in the next week, um, unless they're really not going to upgrade him that much. And in that case, then it might not be that great of an SBC. We'll see. But that's one that I'm not investing in. We thought that was going to be yesterday, but then the whole Sterling thing happened instead. I don't know if Gavi's going to be today. I guess there's a shout for it, but maybe not. There's also some rumors about an Icon Maldini SBC, which seems crazy, but um, those are not confirmed. Maldini was dropping a lot yesterday, and there were a couple of cryptic tweets 
that made it seem like Maldini might be getting an Icon SPC soon. Watch out for that. That would be pretty big. If he was to be leaked, that would be an Icon SPC that would be worth investing for in a lot of the high tier fodder because that's a center back that a ton of people would want to do during this time period if it's at a decent value um, during team of the year, especially they'd love to craft that. So watch out for that. And then we do actually know the mini release. You might be like, Nate, where was Bobby Firmino? Where was Uke Makano? This is the official mini release of players that will be coming out either today or tomorrow. If I had to guess, I'd say tomorrow. I know Winter Wild Cards mini releases were on Saturday. Could be today, could be tomorrow though. And I don't know if those are the official cards. I think it is. He says official. Um, Uke Makano looks decent. Firmino, uh, striker and Firmino center mid. That's uh, Center mid Firmino looks pretty dope. Not that big of a difference between the cards except for the defense and the play style, but that center mid Firmino does look pretty nasty. Kind of reminds me, as of people put in the comments, the ultimate screen Firmino from back in the day. So that's a nice one there. Maybe today, but also maybe not. And then last thing I want to point out is EA tweeted about the team of the year announcement, which is going to have a kickoff show, um, which is I'm actually kind of excited for this because Jude Bellingham and Puteas are both on this kickoff show. It's happening on Monday. So, um, I don't know exactly what time it's going to be, but we'll hopefully be able to watch it live on stream. That sounds really cool. As you can see, both Puteas and Bellingham as a part of that uh, with the team of the year in there and uh, Jamie Carragher, Micah Richards, and uh, probably going to be a pretty fun show. So kind of excited for that. It's really cool. They're going out with uh, some cool features for the team of the year announcement and team of the year votes. And uh, yeah, again, really good times to trade right now, guys. Bought these hemp's for 315 yesterday. Made some good flips on that. This Ramos was the biggest flip. Bought it at 940. Sold it at 1.1. Bought a Kamavinga at um, 280. Sold it at 330. So really good flips right now in this game. I'm gonna try to make some more flips today. I'm gonna try to stick to low budget though. Low budget and really rare, like with this Marta, because that seems to be working the best in this market right now. But if you enjoyed this video today, if you're excited for content on Saturday, and if you like this versus promo, let me know down in the comments. But of course, drop a thumbs up on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the count and catch you guys there. Peace out.